Hey Soul Tribe, so I thought I'd mix it up and try a video this time to do the reading. So I've already pulled the spread and I've asked Spirit to bring in the highest and best messages for the Soul Tribe of the Divine Feminines community. And this is around what is coming in, what is the energy for the post solar eclipse window. So um, we've just had a lunar eclipse a couple of weeks ago and then the solar eclipse happened on Thursday. Now there was also a new moon in Gemini. So this energy still continues over the sort of next few days, but also it continues throughout what influences our year ahead. So with that said, I'll get stuck in. And at the bottom of the deck, we had the magician card. Um, also very pertinent being in the season of Gemini, the magician is also aligned with that, but it's a powerful card of manifestation. So this is the energy of the back of the deck. And I feel that there is this opportunity to really be the co-creator to really direct your life, whether that's with work or love or anything else that you kind of have been hoping or dreaming of or wanting. So this is powerful energy. But what I feel when, as I pull this spread, is that there is something that's destined that has happened that needs to be released. So we've got we've got here the ten of the ten of swords uh, paired with the wheel of fortune. So something. Um, an unexpected um, event may have happened, but it was fated. With the Wheel of Fortune, it was fated. It was meant to happen, perhaps. Um, but in this period, something might have cropped up. It could have been a past wound. It could have been something that's brand new that has come to the surface, whether in love or in work. And this Ten of Swords is, is, is quite a heavy, burdensome energy. You know, as you can see, this person's back is just, you know, cut with all these ten swords so it's very heavy it's very painful and it needs to be released however part of it maybe was destined to happen for um part of your soul's journey a lesson um we are in this experience to learn lessons and to also you know um grow and so there may have been you know karmic contracts <laughs> But so, yeah, so that's where we're starting off with. Um, now, also, the Wheel of Fortune is a positive energy because, you know, we have to learn lessons to then, you know, level up and grow for those from those lessons. So the next set of cards um, we have is the Eight of Swords paired with the Ace, Eight of Wands. Now, you may have been feeling this energy already or it might be coming through um, now for you or you might find it coming through in the coming weeks. But... You may have had this feeling of being trapped or starting to feel trapped if something's just occurred. It may have been going on for some months now and it's just really surfacing how trapped you have felt, like reinforcing that to you, right? Um, so as you can see in this image, this person can't see, they feel very burdensome and they feel like they have no way out. Now, with the Eight of Wands, when it's upright, there's massive, rapid movement, but it's in the reverse. So, paired with this Eight of Swords, it's this feeling of, I'm trapped, I can't see where I'm going, I, I, I just, I have complete self-doubt in myself, and I just don't, I've just, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, and I really just don't know how much more I can take of this. So, this is quite heavy energy here. So, if you've been feeling... Um, quite emotional um or you've been feeling quite you know just drained then this would make sense because uh, th this energy isn't light energy uh, but it is part of a, you know part of a lesson that's being learned here um and then with the ace of coins and the page of cups and this is quite exciting and i really kind of i aligned it to this magician energy because with the ace of coins this is a real opportunity for abundance, whether it's material, spiritual, you know, real stability, grounding, and a new opportunity, a new offer. Uh, literally could be a new job offer, a new sort of level, level in work. It could be a new offer or a gift from a, um, a, a new lover coming in or someone offering. It could be a past love where there has been this heartache in the past, all this burden, fe burdensome feeling, you know, things might have gone on for a while. It could be a brand new person. So take that as it resonates. But with the Page of Cups, this this also reinforces the ability to have something new come in. It's um, 
it's positive energy it could be a brand new opportunity it could if if it is love then it can be you know translated as someone that is um got a lot has got a lot of feelings and really wants to offer their cup and wants to do something very grounded serious they're serious it's not you know and there's romance here there's feelings um so take that as that resonates but that's really lovely energy coming in because we kind of start in this sort of darker energy we get to the green which matches my nails by the way <laughs> got those done today um loving the color so the six of coins and the three of swords so in the past you may have felt and you may still be feeling this now and it might still be playing through that there's been some heartache now the three of swords is quite heavy energy it can even be you know connecting back to childhood so if something's happened recently or in recent months we're in at work or in a relationship there could be you know childhood wounding that connects to it so it's been quite heavy for you as you can see here um, and it is part of your destiny to you know find the release with the six of coins it's really you know lovely energy of like reciprocity balance coming through even a new offer so this paired up here you know, it could be a new job offer, it could be a new love opportunity or, um, a, you know, a reunion with someone from the past. I haven't got the reunion card here, but take it as it resonates. Um, could be just a brand new person coming in. So still there is this heartbreak that does need to be released. I do feel that there's this energy here, the feeling of being trapped and, you know, this pain and burden but with this magician energy, there is massive opportunity to really transmute that and release. So take that as that resonates. Even if at work there's been some trouble and some challenges, you know, you may it may want to think about how you can release it and, and think afresh in your role at work. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to leave. There could be other opportunities at work itself. Now, here, here's very interesting at the end. We've got this death card in reverse and we've also got the three of wands in reverse now death scorpio energy um upright it's you know transformation things crumbling uh, phoenix you know rising from the ashes after that death you know the rebirth comes it's really you know um <laughs> one of my favorite energies because i'm a scorpio if you guys didn't know but with the libra moon so my sun sign and i do think that we do need to go through several deaths and rebirths to really release old wounds and to level up and to, you know, align with our soul and, and enjoy life to its fullest, but we have to let go of the past. So it's in reverse. So there's this feeling of like, you might not, you might be holding back from the change. You might be scared for the change. You might not feel like you can um, really go ahead with it. Now, if you are a Scorpio, by the way, and it's coming up in the reverse, you might just not be feeling your best self, whether that's your sun, moon or rising. So take that as that resonates. Now, with the three of wands in reverse, when it's upright, you have the determination, you know where you're going, you're full of energy, full of like focus. Look how focused this, this guy is right now, like when he's upright. So in reverse, it's feeling stagnant, it's feeling lost, confused. And so these two cards paired together, I really feel the sense of, holding back from a change and by holding back the change and maybe releasing some of the past and releasing this pain and hurt, there is this lack of direction, lack of determination. Okay, guys. Right. So overall here, I'm feeling like you have a massive opportunity with this solar eclipse energy, post energy. You know, you've been given the magician here so you can really change things for the better. Things may have cropped up in the last week, weeks, month, um, and they might continue to. If something hasn't really surfaced and you're like, well, there could be an old wound that hasn't really been addressed and some of that may surface again through interactions with people, um, certain situations at work or with love. So take that as it resonates. But really, there is, you're being called for your soul's alignment to really release this burden, some energy, whether that there's emotions being held. So swords is very much thought energy. So you might be in your head a lot. You might be overthinking a lot. I'm feeling really trapped and really questioning yourself. I'm really thinking like, I'm not worthy. I can't do this. You know, be mindful that you might be playing the victimization game there. But I just call you back to this beautiful green energy here. This is like abundant colors, like green heart chakra. So 
really think about opening your heart. Maybe you have to forgive, forgive someone and you don't necessarily need to tell them that you forgive them. It's that feeling of compassion and the feeling of that energy of I can forgive you, right? And I'm willing to do that because by holding that resentment in, you're only hurting yourself more, guys. Okay, and I know it's hard. I've been through many a situation where you have to kind of allow the emotions to to, to, to sort of be released and recognize them, but don't become them, right? And don't let them be in your backpack for life. You know, unpack them and drop them off on the way to your next destination. Um, but I really feel like there's something special that can come here, whether it's a new love opportunity or a new um, job opportunity. But until you kind of clear out some of this negative energy and release some of the past and do some of this healing work. Now, with the healing work, maybe, you know, I, I see nature here, so maybe you could get out in nature. Maybe it's about journaling, writing down some, you know, those feelings. Um, speak to friends, maybe a friend that, you know, that you can trust that is on the wavelength where you can talk on a mature level and really get your emotions out. If you need to speak to someone, don't hold it inside. Now, I pulled a moonology card and imagine this, the full moon in Scorpio, my favorite energy, and it's a time to release negativity. So if you guys, I really strongly urge you, right? If you hold on to negative energy, you cannot manifest. It's all about being in the best vibration. Now, life isn't always a positive high vibration, right? But if we're carrying this negative thought, whether it's about ourselves, the situation, we're not allowing the space to manifest and we're not allowing us the space to really get the opportunities we want. So, you know, what is it that you're holding on to? What thought patterns? Um, what do you say to yourself to self-talk? Start to think about that. Are there things, experiences you know, at work or with past love or a current situation that you'll keep, you keep revisiting? Let it go. However you need to journal that, you know, or write it down to get it off your chest, cry it out, whatever you need to do, meditate, listen to binaural beats to cleanse your sort of settings um, and your vibration, you know, really just try to release that. The more you release, the more ability you will have. And I feel like what's happening is you're being called to have to let go, to let that change go. You might be scared to do it. You might be scared to sort of change a bit of your behavior maybe, but remember, if we change our internal selves, our external reality changes for the better, guys. So imagine if you release a lot of this negativity from within. Imagine what will manifest in your external reality and how people show up to you because they feel your energy of how you show up. So don't resist this change. That's what I'm saying there. And then we pulled, I pulled, sorry, we, um, me and spirit, we pulled um, some archangel cards I thought these would be nice to pull for you guys. So look at this. Archangel Dorenka. Hone your psychic abilities. See through illusion. So when, what I felt here was really trust yourself. Trust your, you know, all the gifts that you're given. You know, you might be really caught up in your head. And the mind can be, you know, your best friend, your worst enemy, right? So don't get caught by certain negative thought patterns and illusions that really aren't the truth. They're only the truth if you validate them as the truth, okay? And the next one was Seraphim Seraphisa. <laughs> if I got that right, that's the card. So relax and open up to source, keep your heart open. So what was I saying before about this, um, you know, open heart, you know, compassion, keep your heart open and ask you the universe to help you, you know, to find ways to release ask the universe to give you signs of how you might want to release um some of this burdensome energy or some of this pain and um yeah that's pretty much it guys so i really feel like there's something very special that you can manifest right now in the coming weeks months um and you know if you let go of this heavy energy and release the negativity it is really going to level you up to a better vibration so and with that, you know, so much more can come, so much more expansion. So I hope you enjoyed the reading and let me know your feedback if anything resonates. And I hope to do another one like this again. Maybe I might actually shuffle in front of you guys. All right. Lots of love and lights. I'll try. Good night.